Hi, this is Tulia of Honesty Europe and I'm here to answer some questions that I have received and one of them was about addictions and compulsive behavior. Um, yeah, I, I think that's um, a broad and important uh, topic and of course addictions and compulsive behavior can show up in a very different way like ongoing um, unhealthy behavior, it can be anything from drinking or drug abuse to overeating, undereating, uh, overexercising, uh, smoking, all kinds of tics where like pulling uh, hair until it's actually there is a bald patch that's uh, a tick and compulsive behavior uh, or kind of being stuck in uh, some thinking pattern or, or t doing stuff in a compulsive manner um, sex addiction, codependency, addiction uh, or uh, compulsiveness towards flirting and, and receiving uh, attention so very broad range of things um, and I think it's kind of easy to notice the very classical addictions and maybe far more difficult to notice the the, the, the less typical stuff um, yeah I, I think so there was a question how radical honesty could help or have helped uh, with these addictions or compulsive behavior I think there is um, many ways uh, radical honesty have helped different people and in general for me it's like um, a three or four step process where one is acknowledging yeah I have this pattern or behavior or way of being that is not serving me so I'm ongoingly doing something that is not serving me and I'm not feeling good about it and I have a hard time stopping so just acknowledgement this is what's happening acknowledging to myself and second step, step acknowledging to people around me and and that's for the reason that I believe that whatever we push down it's kind of being in the sh in the shame and it, it grows and bubbles up rather than what we allow to be there what we are owning there is far more space to work with it and and shame breeds in shadows whereas when you bring stuff to light your compulsiveness your topics there's actually little by little less shame and then noticing your body while you are sharing and acknowledging what is really going on with you so I, I think that's that's one and then for me the second step is that rather than having this he heavy blame for yourself it's like loving whatever is accepting whatever is that this is how I'm doing stuff this, these are the behaviors these are the actions I'm doing it's not serving me and this is what I'm doing right now and there is a reason for it so rather than coming from a harsh blamey angle it's like yeah there's a there's a reason why I'm doing this and I don't want to do that anymore it's not serving me I want to find a way and then out of that finding a way and that could be multiple um, so what I like and, and, and what Rag Honesty is really about is, is healing with others, healing within the community. Um, and that can be around sharing, having people do witness and listen to you, having people share their experiences around compulsive behavior and, and addictions. Um, of course, searching for one-on-one uh, -on -one therapy or group therapy can be very powerful as well um, so depending on the kind of compulsive uh, addictive behavior there's different means and I, I very much like that healing together being as people together witnessing supporting each other um, and and the kind of addictions that I've come across the most in in the right honesty uh, workshops and uh, that we have worked with I would say successfully uh, a big thing is uh, porn addiction so kind of really feeling the missing feeling the void in life by compulsively watching porn maybe compulsive uh, masturbation and then feeling that time and space with other things and when these urges come that there is people there's support there's friends to reach out to 
and talk to rather than go into that compulsive habit that doesn't really in the end feel good. There might be, there is mostly like a quick rush of pleasure in the body and then a lot of things in the body that are not pleasant. Um, so yeah, porn addiction, um, different kind of sex addictions, uh, like compulsively having sex instead of creating intimate connections. And of course that's a long, long journey for some and that, that's all right. So we're not talking about quick fix, but rather a journey taking steps. Uh, codependency and life addiction, like having a lot of focus on the other rather than focus on me. So recognizing and acknowledging what I want and asking for it can be a, a very powerful step in that. And that's something we do a lot. Um, then different uh, addictions around overeating. So recognizing what's what's underneath that, what, what I'm trying to numb, what is there to, to work on, what I'm lacking and missing in my life, how I can bring that to myself. Um, of course, alcohol, uh, truck use, especially marijuana, um, tobacco addiction. Some people have sugar addiction, so that working on that. Uh, compulsive exercising and sports as a way to feel less numb. So I might do another video to go into more specifics. Um, so here's some of the thoughts about how to heal addictions in the in the recognized community, in the loving community of people and support with friends and showing yourself to others. All right, thanks, bye-bye.